Next, we'd like to talk about how to set up the software for sending emails and SMS messages to your customers. Now, you may have noticed that in the customer menu, if you go to mailing lists, there are these two buttons in here, email to list and SMS to list. So when you compile a mailing list from your customer data, and if you want to send emails or SMS messages to this list for your marketing purposes, those are the buttons that you would use. But in order to make these buttons functional, uh, in order to make the software capable of sending email and SMS messages, first you need to go to Setup, Email and SMS Setup. And basically the Setup screen is asking you for the credentials of your email service so that it can send emails in your name from your email address so that the From field has your email in it just as if you wrote the emails that the software will send. Now, if you don't feel comfortable giving our software uh, your email credentials, you should know that you don't have to use your existing email for this purpose, but you can create a new one um, just for this purpose and that will not cost you anything because this feature, as you can see in here, works with Yahoo and Gmail. And uh, those are the two most used email services worldwide and they are free so obtaining an email address with them is absolutely free now the setup is pretty self-explanatory you need to tell our software your email address right here right um, so that will be something let's say like uh, your name at yahoo.com now if the domain is different uh, other than yahoo.com in the drop down menu in here we have all the yahoo server domains uh, including AT&T.net, uh, BellSouth.net, and all of them, absolutely. So you select the right one if Yahoo.com is not uh, the right one for your Yahoo account. Then the next option is to select the server address, and uh, this will be the uh, field for the Yahoo server or the Gmail server address, and it will be usually pre-filled for you uh, with the correct choice, with the default uh, server address. Uh, but if you feel the need to customize this, if you have some uh, custom server address on Yahoo and Gmail, you can, uh, you know, literally select this and override it. And of course, when you switch to Gmail, uh, these um, options in here change and the defaults change. This is the Gmail server address. These in here are uh, the domains for Gmail, right? Uh, the next one is the port. Uh, the port field is asking for a port of communication that the email server uses. The default port uh, for both Yahoo and Gmail, as you can see, is 587. That's the recommended one to be used. But again, if for whatever reason you feel like you need to customize this and change it to some different port, uh, if you have that knowledge that your uh, you know, email service is operational with a different port, you can go ahead and overwrite this. The username and password fields are exactly uh, what they say. These are the credentials that you use to log into your account, to your email account, right? Uh, and usually the username should be noted that is uh, most often the email itself, the email address, like, I don't know, uh, uh, your name at yahoo.com or gmail.com, whatever it is, right? And then the password is whatever password you use to sign into your email. And it's the same fields in here and the same process for uh, a Gmail account if you select to use a Gmail account. No difference uh, so far. And again, as uh, discussed previously, if you don't feel comfortable giving our software your email credentials, you should know that you don't have to use your existing email for this purpose, but you can create a new one just for the purpose of this and uh, that will not cost you anything as Yahoo and Gmail email addresses are absolutely free. Now, uh, the next option is the uh, using uh, the using of a secure SSL connection. What that means is that uh, if this option is checked, you will be using SSL uh, encryption in the communication between our software and the Yahoo or Gmail email service. And um, there is advice to stay on, to stay checkmarked. Um, however, um, if you don't want to use a highly encrypted communication between your PC and email server uh, when sending emails, 
you can for whatever reason that maybe you can uh, forego this option you can uh, just simply click on this to remove the check mark and not use that security feature now if you're gonna uh, go with a Gmail account if you're gonna set up a Gmail account almost everything is exactly the same however there's one additional step as I noted in here an additional step is required to set up your Google account to link to our software click here for instructions and if you click right there on that text it opens up uh, a set of instructions that um, explain what you need to do in your Google account or your Gmail account an additional step and it gives you a link of how to get there to your Google account to the right uh, place and simply check mark or uh, select that option in order to achieve uh, correct and successful linking uh, of our software to your Google account or your Gmail account now it's worth noting again that with Yahoo it's simpler because this step is not needed, it's not necessary and there are no additional steps and nothing needs to be set up in the Yahoo account itself in order to make this work. Now after you've set up all of these parameters you'll be ready to send a test email and send a test SMS message and of course once the tests uh, pass you can click save in here to finally save all the changes you've done but uh, before you do that we'd like to explain uh, another thing uh, that you also meet uh, when uh, testing the SMS and in everyday working uh, that's the fact that uh, it may sound confusing or counterintuitive as to why we are asking for email credentials to enable the sending of not only an email but also SMS messages however the answer to that is that our software and many other software like ours that want to keep the sending of SMS messages service uh, free to their customers send SMS messages through email by writing an email to a special designated email address for that special purpose to the designated cell phone operator or service provider like AT&T, T-Mobile, Verizon, Sprint etc and that is how SMS messages are sent from programs like ours or websites for absolutely free of charge and um, any other method involves a cost to you per message and that cost can add up extremely high if you pay the average 10 to 15 cents per message and you are a well-established business with a few thousand customers in your database so we try to keep this service absolutely free for you and this is the only way to send SMS messages for free by sending email messages to the cell phone service providers with the required info so their server computer um, knows to which one of their customers to send the SMS message to and what contents should be in that message so it all goes flawlessly within a few seconds and the whole process is fully added, automated the only extra step in here that to keep this free to use this method uh, we need to know which service provider or carrier your customers use so when you take a phone number from your customers and if you enter it in the database of our software in the cu customer data like let's say uh, right here right you're entering your uh, you know your customers phone number right uh, the if you want the software to be capable of sending an SMS uh, message to this customer there's an additional step you need to enter the carriers SMS domain you need to enter that SMS domain right here from this drop-down menu you select it now um, of course this may sound like too much to ask but keep in mind we help you with this step as well if you don't want to simply ask your customer who their cell phone provider is you can simply use the link we have for you in here this link right here that says free carrier lookup and it takes you to a little website that has a free carrier lookup tool all you need to do is type in the phone number of the customer and this tool will tell you exactly what their SMS domain is or who their carrier is right if they're with Sprint, T-Mobile or somebody else right so you just click on this I'm gonna go ahead and click on this just to show you right now how that looks like and there it is that's the website you enter the phone number in here and you click search now here we are after uh, completing a search of a certain cell phone number we just have uh, the phone number in here blocked out uh, scratched out so you can't see it for privacy uh, purposes but it turns out the care for the phone number we entered is Sprint is it a wireless 
yes it's a wireless phone and it gives you right here the information you need to know SMS gateway address is going to give you this uh, long address like an email address right uh, and uh, you don't need the first part that's just going to be the phone number you need what's after the at with the at sign right at messaging.sprintpcs.com obviously because it's a sprint pcs uh, as a carrier right so you select that right here and here it is at messaging.sprintpcs.com that's all that that's the additional step you'll need to take uh, with entering every customer cell phone number in order for this software to be able to send sms messages for free for you